Hey everyone, hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Weens. I'm in the old town of Phuket in southern Thailand. And today for lunch, I'm going to a restaurant which is called the Charm Dining Gallery, which specializes in Peranakan food. And Peranakan food is a mixture of Malay and Chinese food. This is a family restaurant, family recipes. And one of the dishes that they specialize in is a tamarind fish head curry. They're gonna make it with a giant fish head. This fish head curry is huge. And so we called ahead and arranged to film a little bit of the cooking in the kitchen. It's gonna be exciting and I cannot wait to eat and share all of the food with you in this video. And here we are, welcome to the restaurant. Again, the restaurant is called the Charm Dining Gallery and I believe that they include dining gallery in the name of the restaurant because it's actually, you should see the decoration. Well, we'll go on a full tour and see the decoration in the inside, but the decoration, the antiques, it's a living piece of history. It's a museum at the same time as a restaurant. I love these tiles at the entrance. So really quickly, before we go back to the kitchen and hear more from Kun Pon, who is the owner, and also see some of the cooking, you just gotta walk around this place and just admire the decoration, the originality, and then just how, how well the interior design is from the Peranakan Chinese antiques to the original tile floor, to the vases, to the family photos. I think these are some of the family photos. Really a spectacularly beautiful restaurant. And over here on this wall, rightfully so, the charm has been included in the Michelin Guide in Phuket. Then if you go further back, back there's more tables and actually we, we're gonna sit probably over there in the back near the courtyard. There's even an open air courtyard. We come into this next section, Oh, this is almost like a little private dining room right here with just one table. And then finally to the last section and actually it just started raining as we've come here. Something that you'll notice in a lot of the shop houses is that there is a, I mean, it's a little bit of a courtyard, but it lets natural air in, it lets natural light in, it lets natural rain in. But I love that because you have a little bit of the piece of the outdoors, indoors. Another dining room section here with a huge family table and a few other smaller tables. Head into the kitchen and see some of the cooking and I think they have a giant fish that they're gonna show us. Wow. So this is, it's a type of grouper, yeah? Yes. Grouper, local from Phuket. Oh, that fish is huge, it's fresh, it's beautiful. And they use the entire fish and they get the entire fish here and they make use of everything. But specifically for one of their signature dishes is the fish head curry. So they're gonna be using the head in a Malay, Chinese, a Peranakan curry. And I know that it, wow, they've been prepared all the ingredients. So these are the ingredients for the fish head curry. Yes. Ah, okay. Yeah. So there's shrimp paste, there's shallots and garlic and dry chilies yes. and lady fingers or okra, and then the tomatoes. Chilies. The big chilies. Lemongrass. Lemongrass. Yes. Oh, and this is also important, right? Is yeah, the, the, the torch ginger flower? Yeah, oh, exactly. Yeah. Also, tamarind is also very yeah. important too, right? Yes, this is to add the, the test. Ah, okay. Test. So those are all the fresh ingredients that they neatly arranged. And then now these are the ingredients that are already pounded into paste using some of those ingredients like the shallots, the lemongrass, some of those chilies and dry chilies. And now chef is gonna get started on the fish head curry. So coconut oil goes in first. So we added in some onions and shallots and lemongrass. Some salt, is that salt? Uh, yeah, a little bit of salt. A little bit of salt and then that's the curry paste that sizzle down in there. Try yeah, that smells that's incredible. Yeah. Already, just seconds in, and it already smells incredible. Wow. The coconut oil, the curry paste sizzling down. 
Oh man, he kind of like smokes it out a little bit to bring out the flavor and the aroma. I think it's some fried tofu goes in and then in goes the okra. Curry powder. Ah, curry powder. Yeah. Oh, nice. Mm. Oh, this is the tamarind, okay. And next up, the tamarind. Oh, palm sugar. Yes. All right. Oh, that's really thick, really rich coconut milk. You can see how thick and buttery that is. Oh, oh, oh man, that aroma is insane. Fish head goes in. Kick out. See you, Soy sauce. Soy sauce. Soy. What really distinguishes it for me is both the combination of fresh spices like galangal and chilies and lemongrass, but then also powdered dried curry powder which is a testament to the history of Phuket and the trade along the India-China trade route. This is a curry, this is a fish head that just has so much history and so much uh, heritage within one single pan, within one single fish head. Wow, that just smells unbelievably good. It's so aromatic, so fragrant. You smell the tartness, you smell the coconut milk, all of those spices, the curry powder, and scoop it out into the serving pan, and just gonna garnish it. Next, I need okala, oh my god. Oh, this is torch ginger flour. Oh, one of my favorite ingredients in the world. It's so good, it's so sour and tart and refreshing. And then mint goes on. Oh man, that fish head curry is gonna be out of control, I can already tell. But they're gonna get started on a few more dishes before we go to the table to eat. Uh, we're gonna start with the fried chunnips. This is a very typical uh, Indian dish that ah. people take from uh, original mainland from China. Okay. Yeah, our ancestors had taken this dish and passed on. Especially Hokkien Yeah, Hokkien style. food, yes. Okay. yes. And it's fried mangao, which mangao, is yes. uh, hickama, fried hickama. Yeah, right. The dry squid in it. Oh, so oh, it nice. have this uh, sweet taste. Uh -huh. Oh, that's dried squid? Yes, that's dried squid. Oh, it already smells incredible. The garlic, the dried squid. Some pork. Yeah, pork. Oh, the tongue like garlic in there. Wow. A variety of soy sauce, some white pepper, and a little bit of palm sugar goes in for seasoning. But yeah, that smells wonderful. Oh, and a few shrimp go in too. Ah. Me pick thai. Pick thai. Oh, my God. Pick thai dum. Oh, and black pepper. So the first squeeze was white pepper. This is black pepper. Store. Yes, I love pata, my favorite ingredient. What type of pata will you make? Pata, yeah, pata with crab meat. Ah, okay. This is uh, crab meat. meat. Yeah. Nice. Stink beans are a highlight of any Peranakan meal, and they're going to be making stink beans with crab. 
with shrimp paste and curry paste. Curry paste. Curry paste looks wonderful. And the crab, the shellless crab. If things could not get better. And finish that off with some kaffir lime leaves. Oh, and they just dished out the muhong. Signature of our strong is a ginger fish kume. Okay. Yeah. Oh, he's gonna make it now? Yeah. Okay. So this is one of the signature dishes of the restaurant. Smoky, smoky grouper. So you sear off, smoke out that piece of grouper. All surrounded by, I think, ginger and garlic and coriander roots. The pie. Pepper goes in. Salt, seasoning with salt, a little soy sauce. See you. See you. Okay, Kav. Oh, see you, Malay. Chef is just saying that this is Malaysian, Malaysian soy sauce, and this is like the ketchup manis, the sweet soy sauce, and this is Thai soy sauce. So we found out that uh, the Malay soy sauce is nice and has this uh, umami flavor. Oh, cool. And this, my grandma. She has been using the Malay soy sauce since she was young. This is a closely linked this is evidence that we use the ingredient from Penang. The sesame oil from Penang. Ah, okay. Yes, it has to be this brand only. So one of the main seasoning ingredients is sesame oil. Oh, that's fragrant immediately. Um, Chinese wine. Oh, like Chinese the wine goes in. Yeah, vinegar, yeah. Ah, he has this chef has a spoon trick. If it doesn't stick to the spoon, then you know it's ready. So that the fish is going to be cooked perfectly and not overcooked. Kun kun pan. I just wanted to ask you, where did most of the recipes come from? Oh. They're all family recipes. Yes. And it has been taught by my aunties. Uh, my grandmother's. Okay. Yeah, and some lily tip. My lily tip. Yes. And is your your family is from Phuket? Phuket. Yes. Phuket. Okay. Yes. Yes. This is a actually my grandma, one of my respected grandma. She's from Penang. Ah, okay. So the fish fumet recipe is from her family. Yes. And this is a uh, my grandfather's in uh, association. A lot of the Peranakan families in Phuket. Yes. They also have close ties to Penang, Penang. and yes. to. They intermarry with the Pinang. Okay. Yes, and some of the family that they originally from Pinang, they move from China and settle in Pinang, and then uh, find a better opportunities and we ah. settle in Phuket. What is the story behind this house? Oh, um, this house is belong to one of the Baba families shop house, located on Tin Miners. They call it Tin Miner Road because it's owned by the, you know, this. Uh, Fortune's uh, rich guys of the olden Phuket. Okay. And the house is built according to the fashion in that time. Yeah, you see the and house? This is the original? This is the original house wow. from the house of day one. They wow. started, this is English tiles. And then you did some restoration though? Um, Renovating. This is original, but oh, this we, is... we restored some of the part of the house. Okay. Yeah, because it's, I think it's more than 90 years old now. Wow. Yes. Eating within a museum at the same time. Exactly. A that's part of the is, heritage. Yeah, that's the main objective is that you are the guest to the Phuket people. Mm. And you are having meals in our uh, right, rich people house in Phuket. I think this is the rice basket. How cool is this? Everything is an antique. I love the dishes, the setting. Oh, this is the eggplant that you got you? Oh, nice. Okay. I think that's the complete meal now.
And again, this food is incredibly spectacular, but in addition to the food, the setting, the atmosphere, the charm, that's why it's called the charm, the charm of this old house. As much as the food is a piece of the heritage, the house is also a part of the experience. Like a lacquered wooden box. I have to begin with the main event, the fish head curry. And again, this is the massive grouper head, which is just, look at, you have to see the size of this. This fish head curry is huge. I'll take a little bit of everything. Oh, and you smell the aroma of that doctala, that torch ginger flower, which has a peppery, sour aroma to it. Okay, that's just pure meat, so much meat. And then more of that gravy. All oh, the onions in there too. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so excited I just started using the serving spoon. <laughs> Oh, wow. Oh yeah. The balance of flavor, the freshness of all the ingredients, the pepper, and that fish is cooked perfectly. It just melts in your mouth, the freshness of it, and it just flakes apart in your mouth and you've got the gooiness of that skin from the grouper. Mm. I love how all the ingredients are just perfectly cooked, like the okra is still crisp. The fish is not mushy at all, but so flaky. Next dish, I'll go for the muhong which is, this is a, one of the very typical, especially Phuket town dishes, and especially Chinese Phuket style, which is a braised pork belly. How jiggly it is, but it's extremely, this smells incredible. That looks like a good nugget right there. Onto my rice, maybe add a little bit more of that gravy. You see the dark, we really see the dark soy sauce in there. You smell, it's often sweet, and peppery and garlicky. You really smell the, watch, we're gonna see how tender this is, look. It's just spoon, spoon flake apart tender. Look at the way the fat has just been rendered down in the skin, into the skin. The key is to get a little bit of the fat, a little bit of the meat all in one bite, and the skin. Oh, wow. It's so ultra tender. The fat and skin melt in your mouth. Garlic that's been just disintegrated into the gravy. It's sweet, but not overly sweet. That right there is one of the best versions of Mohong in Phuket. Family recipe. Oh, it's really good. I already need some more rice. And so just as Kun Pan was explaining to us, um, yeah, the Chinese is less spicy, but then the Malay is spicy. And so it's a combination of, not only in like single dishes is it a combination, but also in the entire plate of food that you have. So after eating the less spicy dish, like that braised pork, I'm ready to go spicy. Come to think of it, I've had stink beans in every form, shape, style. I don't know if I've ever had it stir fried with crab, but that's very rare to find. Okay. Oh, wow, yeah. That is tasty. The crab melts in your mouth. It's both spicy and sweet. The sweetness of the crab, the crunch of the steamed beans, the fragrance. Oh yeah. Okay, this one is the jicama, stir fried with dried squid and with shrimp and with pork. Oh wow. It's so smoky, it's so aromatic. It's caramelized. The texture of the jicama is almost like a crunchy potato. It's really good. And he said this is specifically a Hokkien Chinese dish. Another one of the signature dishes. And this is something, yeah, you have to come to here. You have to come to this restaurant, The Charm, to eat it because it's not available elsewhere. It's just a family recipe. A steak of grouper, which he seared down. We saw him make it with the ginger, with garlic, with the broth that includes Chinese wine, as well as the sesame oil, which is uh, crucial. Mm. I love the immediate burst of sesame oil, and then you taste pepper, and then you taste just that mellow Chinese wine in there, which just kind of mellows it out. And then just the broth of the fish. Okay, next up for the tamarind shrimp, fried shrimp. I love how there's chunky spices in there, whole shallots, whole stalks of lemongrass, and then the fried shrimp are in their shells, making them extra fragrant with that dark sauce of tamarind and probably a variety of soy sauce. So for this one, I will peel, peel back that 
in a shell. Actually, I'm sure you can actually, oh yeah. Eat it all. You can eat the whole thing for sure. Yeah, you can eat the whole thing because it's been fried already, deep fried. Oh yeah. You can eat right through the shell. It has a sweet tartness. You taste the soy sauce, you taste the tamarind. Oh, there's crispy shallots on top too. And then we also got an eggplant dish, purple eggplant. I think there's minced pork, there's dry shrimp in here. Mm. That's awesome. I think there might be some, some shrimp taste in there too. I love how it just all melts together though. I think this is the final dish that we got, which is uh, Morning Glories. Okay, and this is Malay style with shrimp paste and sambal. Mm. Oh yeah. That is exactly how I've had it before in Malaysia. Yeah. Oh man, the, the saltiness, the fermented layers of flavor, the sambal, mm. amazingly good. We have completed the circle, the rounds, tried everything once. Now just gonna repeat and dig right back into that fish head curry and keep going. Amazing flavors, amazing food, and the variety. Oh man, yeah. Move back over to the fish head. The fish head, maybe re rehydrate him a little bit. But again, one of the best things about a fish head is all the different components from the collar to the cheek, to the lips. It's all there. It's all, whoa, just splashed in my face. And it's all a different texture and a different kind of flavor. Massive amounts of meat on this fish head. Along with the fish, I just love all the okra and the, the veggies and the herbs that make it up. Couple of makab. Mm. Even with just a little sprinkle, the torch ginger flower on top, that gives the entire dish a fragrance, a peppery sourness. It's amazing how pungent in a, an amazing way, and then also how aromatic torch ginger flower is. What a stink bean dish with crab. Mm. And back over to the muhong, I really, I've had a few versions around Phuket. This is, I think I can safely say this is the best version I've had. It's really, really well balanced. Perhaps it's not quite as peppery as some other versions, but then you really taste the garlic. And I just liked how the, the balance of flavor is just extraordinary. Oh my goodness, yeah. And this is the type of curry. You can just keep digging. You can keep pulling apart pieces of the face and of the head. <laughs> the crevices, the sunken ingredients. It's just an adventure in a bowl. Mm. I also love this eggplant. That's also a, a highlight dish. And the food is so rich. Mm -hmm. Oh, not Oh man, I am full and happy. That was an incredible meal. What really stands out to me about eating at the Charm is that Kun Pon, he's the owner, he's so friendly. But it really is his expression of preserving his own family heritage. The recipes are from his relatives, from his family. The memories, when you walk around, when you look at some of the photographs, some of the antiques, Everything is from his family and his heritage. And so it really is, is his, his expression of preserving his family history through their family food. I'll have all the information in the description box below, but definitely when you're in Phuket, the charm serves amazing Peranakan food and Peranakan culture. And that's gonna be it for this video. I wanna say a huge thank you for watching. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment below, I'd love to hear from you. And if you're not already subscribed, click subscribe and also click the little bell icon and that way you'll immediately get notified of the next video that I publish. Thanks again for watching. Goodbye from Phuket. And I will see you on the next video.